So by default, what happens is that the video starts from zero. So it starts from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, as you can see right here. So let's say that you do not want that. Let's say you want to offset the timing so that it's easier for you to cut through for different reasons. So in order to do that, you can go to tools and then you can go to custom start offset time code right here. And what happens is that you get on to this area right here where you can set the custom start timing. Let's say the part of the video that you start with is not zero zero, but let's say for example, it's one minute. It starts from one minute right here, one minute and zero zero seconds. Once I press OK, what happens is that now the beginning up portion of the video is counted as one minute followed by the rest of the numbers, as you can see right here. Similarly, what you can do is you can go over here and change it out into individual seconds or even sub seconds. So let's say, for example, the start timing starts from 25 seconds. So now the beginning value is 25 followed by the rest. But over here at the end, this is not the total timing, but rather the value added by 25 seconds on top. So for some reason, if you're if you're cutting out video segments and uh, you have a record of, let's say, timing for the main video, you might want to offset the timing over here so that it's easier for you to cut through. And that is how you can set custom start offset time code and then start working with it in lossless cut. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.